I'm Yolanda, this is How to Cake It, and this week I am caking a giant Lucky Charms Freak Shake. I'm gonna make two different Lucky Charms Freak Shakes and a slice of cake to go with each one. To begin, I baked 18 pounds of my ultimate vanilla cake in three rectangular pans. I dyed each pan a different color and I chose the rainbow marshmallow in the Lucky Charm. I'm, why am I acting like I'm holding it? I chose the rainbow marshmallow from the Lucky Charms and I dyed my cakes the same color. So it's pink and yellow and blue. Once my cakes were baked and cooled, I removed them from their pans, leveled them, and removed the caramelization from the bottom. From each one of these cakes, I need to cut two slices. And by that I mean two shapes that look like a slice. So like a triangle with a one rounded end. So I had made myself a template, I laid that template on top of my cakes, and I cut two of those triangles out of each color. Orhan, you have not even commented on my hair. Oh, it looks excellent. Thank you. One of my best friends, Rad, do you know what she says? She says, when I have my regular, everyday curly hair, I'm Yolanda. But when I do this, I'm Yolanda. <laughs> so call me Yolanda. Yolanda. You know? Yes, L really lengthen it. Yolanda. 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 Thank you. Even when it's not all the way straight, you're still very beautiful though. This is why he's the How to Cake It hottie. So this cake is a first for How to Cake It because I'm building it in a glass. I'm actually using a vase that looks like a glass. Now with the remaining cake, I want to layer them into two layers. So I'm gonna cut them each into two layers horizontally. And then from those pieces, I'm gonna use circle cutters to cut out circles that will fill my vase in alternating colors. Now that I have all of my cake cut, I need Sir Squeeze. I need the man to come in and help me simple syrup all of this colorful cake. You know, Sir Squeeze is my lucky charm because he makes all of my cakes so much better. If Actually, do you know that they've started to put a unicorn marshmallow in Lucky Charms, but we couldn't get it in Canada? Of course we wanted unicorns. Hi, this is how to cake it. Is that why Jocelyn didn't want to do this interview and sent me instead? Probably. Right? She's probably. No. She is depressed. <laughs> she tried to run across the border herself and get them. <laughs> she didn't make it back in time. <laughs> it is time to start building my two giant slices of cake. The first thing I do is lay down a yellow triangle of cake and then I very carefully spread a layer of my Italian meringue buttercream. Now the key to stacking this cake is I want those layers of buttercream to be completely level. So that when we see that giant slice from the side, we see the nice filling. Then I place my pink triangle cake right on top, lining it up with the yellow cake. I repeat this process once again with the buttercream, making it nice and neat and smooth, and then I add my top blue layer. Now that this beautiful cake slice is filled, I need to crumb coat the back, which is the curved end of the cake, and the top. And then I need to chill it. I'm going to repeat this whole process one more time to create my second slice of cake. If you love milkshakes, share this video with your friends who also love milkshakes. While my cake slices are chilling, I'm going to start to fill my vase. Before I begin, I need to color some of my Italian meringue buttercream a nice mint green. To do this, I used a little bit of turquoise, a spot of blue, and then a little bit of Kelly green until I achieved the exact color I was looking for. I like to color a small bit of buttercream first until I'm happy with the color, and then I can adjust by adding more buttercream or more color. First, I'm gonna fill my mint green vase. I love it. This is what Yolanda <laughs> does. Yolanda flips her hair. So I basically wanna take my vase and ice around the whole inside. This way the buttercream is pressed up against the vase and from the outside, it looks like a milkshake. When I get to the top, I smooth my buttercream again and then I make sure to just level it off with the top of the vase. But before I fill this vase, I'm going to chill it in the fridge. This way when I press in the cake, 
I won't move any of the buttercream and we won't see crumbs on the side of the glass. You're like holding the chair as if it's just gonna like... This is my thing. Yeah. Ever since I've been in this chair, I'm like, I'm going on a freak shape. Yeah. Every episode of How to Cake It is a roller coaster ride. I start out talking about the cake I'm making and we usually end up on other things. <sighs> For my second vase, which is actually like a big bell jar or a mason jar, I've decided to do a swirl of the leftover mint green buttercream and some just plain Italian meringue buttercream. This was a little trickier to smooth inside because I basically couldn't get my hand inside with a spatula. So I used my rubber spatula as much as I could, just making sure the whole inside of the jar is fully coated and I chilled it. Once the buttercream in my vases are chilled, I'm going to fill them one at a time. So first I remove the green vase from my fridge very carefully and I get my cake circles that I had cut before. I begin to fill the freak shake with the following components. This sounds so like, <laughs> I fill the freak shake with the following components. <laughs> Here's what I did. I laid in a circle of yellow cake, then I filled a piping bag with the mint buttercream piped in a bit of buttercream, threw in a scoop of Lucky Charms, and then I went back with yellow cake. Buttercream, Lucky Charms, blue cake, buttercream, Lucky Charms, all the way to the top. And the top layer had some Lucky Charms. I just piped the rest of my mint buttercream on top and leveled it right across the vase. I need the vase to be completely flat on top so that my slice of cake can sit there later. For my second vase, which is inside of the giant bell jar, I'm going to use the humps of my cake to fill it. So I took the humps that I cut off right at the beginning of this video. So I cut the humps into squares. This is the easier version of the first vase. You know what? The first vase is the Yolanda version. Do you understand? The second vase is the Yolanda version. It's like, have some fun. If you like all the gorgeous colors of this cake, I have an Easter cakes compilation with so many pretty colors. It's over on my new channel, How to Cake It Step by Step, and you can click right here to check it out. Let's just put these vases in the fridge to chill and move back to our cake slices. I removed my two giant cake slices from the fridge and now I'm going to ice the back and the top once again with more Italian meringue buttercream. And once I'm satisfied, I actually want to create a texture on the back of the cake. So I'm going to use a cake comb that I have and I'm just going to run it along the buttercream at the back along the curve to create the texture. Now I need to place these cake slices in the fridge to chill and get that buttercream nice and firm. Once my buttercream is chilled, I'm gonna take the opportunity to just trim these giant cake slices a touch. And this is because I want the sides to look like a clean, fresh piece of cake that was cut out of a giant cake. You know what, you know what making this cake reminded me of? In my cake book, I make a giant slice of cake cake. So your whole birthday cake is like one giant slice of cake and then you slice it. Oh, that's, actually, that's actually one of my favorites. Is it? Cake, yeah. You know that I have to tell you guys a secret. You can put this in the VIP if you want. Or you could right. leave it in here and share it with everyone. I'll just put it in the VIP. So, I need to place a board underneath each one of these slices of cake because I'm planning to lay one of them on top of my freak shake. So I have a piece of foam core that's cut just slightly smaller than each slice of cake. I'm going to ice the surface of it with a little bit of buttercream and then gently attach it to the side of my cake slice and flip the cake slice on its side. I repeat that with the second slice. Now I can decorate these slices with some beautiful sprinkles in the same color that my cake layers are. So I took some yellow, pink, and blue sprinkles, mixed them together, and then I completely coated the top of each slice and just a little bit of the bottom of the back so to look like almost like a little border at the bottom of your cake slice. I made my own medley of sprinkles for this cake, but we have a new sprinkle service and we create medleys for you and you get a new medley every single month. This month's sprinkle service sprinkles are actually two bottles of sprinkles. One medley you've seen me use on my Beyonce inspired lip cake. Were those Beyonce's lips or were those Yolanda's lips? And the second bottle is a perfect pastel spring mix. You can sign up at howtocakeit.com.
Once again, I'm gonna place these two giant cake slices in the fridge to chill so that I can work on some other fun elements that I need to assemble my freak shakes. Guys, do you know who started calling them freak shakes? Let us know. So I bought some like natural colored rock candy and I'm cutting it off the stick, which is one of my least favorite things to do. You don't wanna cut the stick, you don't want wood in your candy. But the candy's so hard, so just cut it carefully off the stick into chunks. But now, I'm gonna paint those rock candy chunks gold. <laughs> What's with you and gold these last few Gold. <laughs> I know. It's, I don't know what came over me, but I think it's appropriate. We had the whole leprechaun issue, remember? Yeah. Yeah. They like gold. The next thing I'm gonna prep are some marshmallows. I took some marshmallows, I brushed on clear piping gel, and then I rolled them in some light pink sanding sugar. These marsh these marshmallows are good. <laughs> these marshmallows are now good enough for Yolanda to eat. I only eat sparkly marshmallows. So I have some donuts, but I just want to like zhuzh them up a bit. Orhan, thank you for bringing the donuts. You're very welcome. Thank you. I have some maple glazed donuts because I'm still Canadian. And what I want to do is brush on just a thin layer of piping gel and then press the donut into Lucky Charms. It's a Lucky Charms donut. And then I have a couple of glazed cake donuts. I'm gonna paint them gold, Warhol. <laughs> <laughs> I even painted a donut gold. Yay! Okay, it's time to assemble these freak shakes. I take the vase out of the fridge, and what I wanna do is pipe some white chocolate all around the top rim. So I actually have to hold this vase in my hand and pipe and sort of direct the chocolate. Once I have the white chocolate dripping all the way around the top of my vase, it's time to add some Lucky Charms marshmallows. And in order to stick them on the chocolate, chocolate sticks to chocolate, so I'm piping a dot of chocolate on each marshmallow and adding it around. And I have a secret. I don't even like milkshakes. It falls in line with my melted ice cream belief. I love dipping my fries into milkshake. I love it. What? No, I'm serious. Orhan, earlier today you told me you don't like donuts, but you like dipping fries into a milkshake? Yeah, I actually really, really like it. I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> okay, if, okay guys, let's, okay. If you agree with the how to cake it hottie and you dip your fries in a milkshake, let me know. What do I know? Maybe I've been missing it all these years. Okay, this is a milkshake and now it's time to make it a freak shake. The first thing I need to add is my giant slice of cake. I carefully place it on top, balancing it on the vase, and to make sure it stays there, I am going to insert a sharpened dowel down through the center. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of dowel exposed because it's perfect for holding on to my donut. It's a donut on top of a cake on top of a milkshake. <laughs> It's a freak shake. And then, you know what? I say this a lot on this channel. Just have fun decorating the freak shake that you would want. I love this t-shirt. It's nice and bright. It really matches this week's cake. Well, it is a nice t-shirt. It is, and it's this month's Cake Tea Club Tea. Woohoo! Cake what your mama gave you. You can only get this tea if you join the Cake Tea Club, so head over to How to Cake It Now. I'm gonna throw some gold nuggets in with those Lucky Charms marshmallows. The only difference between this and an actual freak shake is because it's much bigger, I needed that board to support my slice of cake. To hide the board, I've put a little bit of Italian meringue buttercream in a piping bag, and I'm just gonna pipe a border right around that board so it looks like it's part of the cake and we don't see the board at all. And then, I'm gonna add some cotton candy and a twirly lollipop. And then for a straw, I have some golden dowels. I just covered them in some edible gold foil and inserted that down into my freak shake. It's time to decorate my other freak shake in a jar. This time I'm gonna pipe some mint green chocolate around the top rim. And then I'm gonna place some Lucky Charms cereals and marshmallows and Gold nuggets. <laughs> I can't leave off the gold. It's the same package. Right? The leprechauns are gonna come get this. 
So this shake is gonna get, not one, not two, but three donuts on top. It was like a donut kebab coming out of the, <laughs> coming out of the freak shake. Of course I put a gold donut on there. Don't even ask. And then I added all the other fun things, my sparkling marshmallows, the gummy candy, some cotton candy, and Orhan. I painted something else gold that I've never painted gold before. There's nothing left. Yes. What is it? I painted a heart-shaped lollipop gold. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, one of my golden dowel straws. That's it, right? You need more? What do you mean, that's it? <laughs> You can't really take a slice out of this cake. You just have to dig in. Click here to watch my giant Eggo Waffles cake tutorial and here to watch my Cheesy Cakes compilation over on how to cake it step by step. Bye guys, I'll see you next week. Will I be Yolanda?